Astronomers have found the most massive neutron star to date, and you care because it's friggin' cool, and also because it proves once again that Einstein was a Banff. <laughs> Hello guys, Lacey Green here for D News. The newly discovered pulsar is blowing my mind. It has twice the mass of our sun, even though size-wise it's only 20,000 kilometers across, which is a speck in comparison. Within every sugar cube size volume of the new star, there's more than one billion tons of matter squeezed into it. It's like the heaviest sugar cube of your friggin' life. And this results in a gravitational pull that is 300 billion times stronger than Earth. The star was found using the very officially named Very Large Telescope at the European Southern Observatory along with various radio telescopes around the world. They're saying that this bizarre finding is awesome because, well duh, how often do you find a star that breaks records, but also because it's the perfect laboratory to really test Einstein's theory of gravity. The theory has so far blasted down all challenges to its accuracy for over a century, like the Hulk of the science world. But this, this may be the final frontier, my friends. So far, their observations of the star confirmed that Einstein was in fact totally on point. Sorry, Isaac Newton. Newton had some great stuff, theories of motion, and all of that, but Einstein's theory of gravity modified Newton's claim that gravity is a force. Einstein said gravity is mm, not quite a force, it's actually a curve in space-time. This curve is caused by massive objects, so imagine a human body on the center of a trampoline. It creates a dimple, and if you roll a marble along the edge of the trampoline, it's gonna spiral toward the person's body. Ta-da! Gravity, my friends. It's curvy. Discoveries like this remind me of how badass Einstein is. This is the dude who brought us things like E equals MC squared, the speed of light, the photoelectric effect. I don't even care that he married his first cousin. I just want to love his beautiful brain. Even though I wonder what on earth was going on in that school. Apparently there's actually an app for that which allows you to look at Einstein's brain. This app was made possible by the dude who originally stole Einstein's brain when he was conducting his autopsy. Many people were outraged when this happened, but Thomas Harvey claimed that he had to do it in the name of science. He sectioned the brain into 240 pieces and preserved it, stored it in Tupperware, and many years later after a bizarre trip across the country in his trunk, scientists got their hands on it. What they found was that Einstein had far more glial cells than the average scientist. Glial cells are like glue. They make it so you can synthesize information more easily and quickly. So, guys, after we're done studying this new star, I'm thinking we should take a closer look at those glial cells. Just, you know, sort of check it out, see if we can pump out any new geniuses, know what I'm saying? Thanks for joining me. Be sure to add our Facebook if you haven't already. We post cool thingies there, and I will see you next time here on D News.